Hello and welcome back to Firestorm Games and in this video we'll be quickly showing you how to paint Mortarion Primarch of the Death God and we'll be using the Citadel range of paints to do so. Before we can begin painting our miniature we first of all need to prime them and for this I've used a white primer as this will make painting some of the lighter colours later on a lot easier. After priming the first task is to base coat Mortarion's armour using Death Guard Green. When applying this and all of the other base coats in this video, I would recommend creating a mixture of one part paint to one part water, applying this over the miniature, allowing it to dry thoroughly, and then applying a second layer over the top. This layering technique will give us a nice strong base coat, as well as reducing the risk of obscuring details by applying the paint too thickly. With the base coat completed, we now want to dry brush the armor using Ogren Camo. Now in order to dry brush, take a relatively large brush, dip it in the Ogren Camo and move most of the excess paint onto a tissue or a spare piece of paper. Then lightly drag the brush over the surface of the armour to bring out all of the details and the raised sections. The next area of Mortarion to tackle will be the purple areas. This includes the top sections of the robes, but also the arms that are holding the wings aloft as well. I'll be painting all of these areas using Nagaroth Knight and the exact same techniques that I use when base coating the armour with Death Guard Green. With the base coat of Nagaroth Knight completed, we now want to dry brush Jean Steeler Purple along all the edges of the purple areas we painted in the previous step. With all of the purple areas completed, we can now start base coating the various tubes and pipes that Mortarion has, and for this we'll be using a base coat of Stegodon Scale Green. In this next step, I'll be painting the spines that are protruding from the top sections of Mortarion's wings, and for this, we want to use a base coat of Mechanicus Standard Grey. The next area of Mortarion that I'll be painting will be the red tabard, and for this, I'll be using Corn Red. Now, be very careful when applying this paint, as you don't want to overspill onto the armour that we've already painted. In this next step, I'll be using Rakar Flesh as a base coat to many different areas on the miniature. This includes the bony spikes and protrusions, armour detailing, as well as the flesh of Mortarion's wings. Now don't forget to paint the wings of the cherubs that are accompanying Mortarion as well, using the same paint. The next area of Mortarion to paint is the wooden handle of his giant scythe, and for this I'll be using Dryad Bark. So with most of the non-metallic areas painted, we can start painting the metals on this miniature, and we're going to start off by painting the silver metallic areas with a base coat of Lead Belcher. As there are quite a few silver metallic areas, do skip to the end of this video and see which areas I've painted when I do the finish 360 degree shots. Continuing with metallics, I'll now be painting all of the bronze areas on the miniature using Balthazar Gold. These areas include the front section of the pistol, the armour trim and also the various sensors that are scattered about the miniature. The final base coat for Mortarion is to paint the oozing ichor that's scattered about this miniature with a base coat of Moot Green. With all of the base coats on this miniature completed, we can now start beginning work on some of the washes, the first area of which will be the bottom sections of Mortarion's cloak. Now we want to apply a wash of Drakenhof Nightshade over these areas, and you can really see the benefits of using a white primer at this step. The Drakenhof Nightshade will give the white areas a slightly bluish tinge, as well as flowing into those recesses, giving us the effect that putrid smoke is billowing from beneath Mortarion. As well as the robes, you can also paint any billowing smoke emanating from Mortarion in other areas in the exact same way. The next wash to apply to Mortarion is one of Reichland Flesh Shade, and I'll be applying this over his wings. This wash will flow into the recesses and help to bring out some of the detailing, as well as giving the wings a slightly more fleshy appearance. I will also be using Reichland Flesh Shade to wash over the white base coat that we have on Mortarion's skin. This will give him a really nice pallid skin tone for this demon Primarch. At the moment, Mortarion is looking a little bit too bright. In fact, he looks more like a Fisher Price My First Demon Primarch than the Master of Nurgle that we want to achieve. But we can remedy this by applying a wash of Agrax Earthshade to the green armor, the remaining areas painted with Rakar flesh, and also the metallic areas as well. This wash of Agrax Earthshade will work wonders for the miniature. It will not only darken and dull down the armor color, it will also flow into the recesses and help to bring out the detailing as well. For the metallic areas, it will give us the effect of rust and dirt that's accumulated on the surface of these areas. As an added bonus, you can also sponge Agrax Earthshade onto the tips of the wings to give them a mottled and decaying effect. The final step in painting Mortarion is to apply a wash of Null Oil to the areas that we haven't yet washed. These areas include the purple robes, the blue pipes, and finally the wooden handle of the scythe. And here we have the completed Mortarion, and I've included a full list of the paints used in this tutorial, including the order they were used in, in the description below. 
Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do let us know in the comments below, along with your suggestions for future tutorials that we can cover. Additionally, make sure you subscribe to be kept up to date with all of our future videos. And finally, the miniature and all of the paints used in this video can be found on the Firestorm Games web store for 10% less than the RRP. And you can find a link to Firestorm Games on the screen now, as well as the description below. So a huge thank you from us for watching this video, and we'll see you again on Firestorm Games.